Blessings and greetings to you people of God. Thank you so much for sharing with me today. You know God woke you up this morning. So if you woke, you got a pulse. And if you, you got a pulse, you know you got a purpose. So I pray that you fulfill your purpose in this day. Um, I'm being led to teach about the Holy Ghost. And so I'm going to read uh, John 14, uh, 15, 16, and 17. It says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. Now we know that the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, as some call him, he is our comforter. He is our consoler. In the Greek, he is called the parakletos, which is translated as alongside, called alongside to help. He is our helper. He is the spirit of truth. And he is there with us constantly. He, I call him my constant companion. He never leaves us. He is our seal unto the day of redemption. Now, everybody does not have the Holy Ghost. The Bible says here that if ye love me, keep my commandments and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter. And in Acts 5 and 32, it says the Holy Spirit is given to those who obey Christ. So if you are obedient to Christ and his commands, then you have the Holy Ghost. They asked him which were the greatest commands and and Jesus answered him to love God with all our hearts minds and souls and to love your brother as yourself and he says on these commands hang all the law and the prophets and so if you obey him if you walk in love then it's evident that you are a disciple of Jesus Christ so if you are obedient to his word, if you are obedient to his commands, then you have the Holy Ghost. Now it says here that the world can't have the Holy Ghost because the world can't see him and the world does not know him. So they cannot receive him. It's just hard for me to to even articulate for me to comprehend living without the Holy Ghost. I can't even imagine not having Holy Ghost because he's always been there and I don't know life without him, nor do I want to know life without him. But if you are of the world, if you are not saved and if you do not obey the, the commands of Christ, then you don't have the Holy Ghost. Just because people go to church does not mean that they have the Holy Ghost. Just because they go to church does not mean that they are saved. Some people go to church just because somebody else go to church. Some people go to church just because it's the thing to do. Some people go to church just because that's what they've always done. But I know I've heard testimonies of people who have been in church all their life and then they confess that they were never saved. So just because you in church does not make you saved. Like they say, just like uh, being in a garage does not make you a car. So if you are obedient to Christ, then you have the Holy Ghost. Now, if loving is something that you're not doing, if you're not loving other people, if you don't love God and you don't love your neighbor, then that's your choice. You made the choice not to love. It's your choice that you made. But Jesus didn't give us a choice. He gave us a command to love. So that eliminates choice. You just got to love. God is so dependent on us that he gave us the Holy Ghost to help us on this journey. He is depending on us to get our assignments done. He is depending on us to fulfill our purpose and we have the Holy Ghost to help us. I know many times Holy Spirit will tell me, don't do that or go ahead, You, I want you to do that. He's there to tell you what to do. And many times I thought I made up my own mind. Come to find out it was the Holy Ghost that told me. So sometimes 
it, he just puts it on the inside of us to know what to do. And sometimes we hear the voice of God. Sometimes we hear it internally and sometimes we hear it out loud. We hear it externally. We can hear the voice of God. He will speak to you. And I just want to close off just saying that Holy Spirit wants to dwell in you. Jesus Christ loves you. He wants He wants you. And, and we know that God doesn't need any of us to do anything. He is all powerful. He is omniscient. He is omnipotent. He can He doesn't need us, but He wants us. And I want Him. So I just want to encourage you to give your life to Christ today if you have not already. If you don't know him as Lord and Savior today, now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. And, and when you receive Jesus Christ, you receive the Holy Ghost and begin to walk in his way, learn of him and keep his commands. God bless you.